Hey Facebook, God bless you. Alright, so as we go today for another day, I just want to share a quick word with you. Alright, so Proverbs 18 and verse 10, it says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and they are safe. Whatever you're doing today, wherever you're going today, whatever your plans are, the word of God said that in all our ways we should acknowledge him and he will direct our path. I know that we are living in the perilous times. And I oftentimes tell people that going out and returning home is such an underrated blessing. Because there are so much people that I see daily. This is my job. They, they leave their houses and they don't make it back home. But I'm saying to you this morning that the name of the Lord, if you walk with God, then I guarantee you that's the greatest level of security and safety that you will ever experience. I remember some years there was a woman. I always hear the story that she was going somewhere. And her mother said to her that, go with Jesus. And the woman said, the only way Jesus can come and unless him going at the trunk of the vehicle, tore the vehicle full up. And it was said that they had an accident. And in the accident, everybody died. And the trunk was intact after the car was written off. The trunk was intact and there was a tree of egg in the trunk of the car. And not even one was broken. We have to be careful as to where we put God in our lives. We have to be careful as to how we subject God. Where we put him. Because some of us only call upon God when we find ourselves in trouble. But I'm saying to somebody this morning, walk out with Jesus. Whatever you're doing, go in the name and the power and the might of Almighty God. Because let me tell you, in this last day, some of us will probably have a firearm and some of us probably have other things that we think that can protect us. And as the word of God says, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses. But I will remember the name of the Lord. Because let me tell you, me say, at the name of Jesus, every situation has to bow. Everything has to bow. Every mountain, every hurdle, every trap, every barricade, every snare. Everything that the enemy is trying to put in my way. To block or to stop my destiny. It has to bow. Because I represent him. And he said, if me call upon his name, then he will answer me. And he will deliver me out of all of my fears and my troubles. So I said this morning, go in the name of the Lord. Go in the name of the Lord. God bless you, Rachel. Let me just pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for another day. I thank you for your blessings. I thank you, God, that you clothed me in my right mind, God Almighty. All my ligaments are fine. All, God Almighty, I am not in pain. I'm not in the hospital. But God, I am able to lift my hands and to glorify you this morning. And so, God, I pray, God Almighty, for those who are on the other end of this video, that, God, whatever the situation is concerning today, that, God Almighty, you will cover them, that, God, you will bless them, that you will rest your hands upon them in the mighty name of Jesus, that, God, they will walk with you, that, God Almighty, that they will seek to have a relationship with you, because, God, we know that you are, you are our ultimate source of defense you are our ultimate god almighty source of protection and god i place every single one god almighty who will receive this word this morning into your hands and i ask that god you cover them that god you cover them that god you cover them in the mighty name of jesus god i declare no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper in the mighty name of jesus christ God, in their going out and in their coming in, according to Psalms 91, God, cause their way to be prosperous, cause their way to be made safe. In the mighty name of Jesus, build an edge around them, God. Cover them today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Because God, we cannot do it by ourselves. But God Almighty, we can do it in your strength. We can do it in your power. God, we can do it in your might. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, you say at the name of Jesus, every name, every situation has to bow. And so God, I commit your people before you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cover them under your blood. Because the devil is out there as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And so God, I ask that you cover your people this morning comprehensively under your blood. Comprehensively immerse them under your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me tell you, whatever you do today, go with God. Man, I feel this in my spirit. Whatever you're doing today, go with God. Wherever you, wherever you are in this video, reach your stop and cover yourself under the blood. Say, so Lord, cover me under your blood. Lord, cover me under your blood because believe me, we are living in a time where a set of demons has been released upon the earth and it's like them have a quota every day as to how much they need to destroy, how much they need to kill. But I declare life over you this morning that you shall not die, but you shall live and declare the works of Almighty God. So God bless you today. God cover you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Go with God. Don't leave him out. Don't make it only be that when you need something, have a relationship with the Father. In Jesus' name, God bless you, everybody. God bless you. Have a wonderful and productive day. You know, I declare the peace of God which transcends all understanding will be a portion in this day and even this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.